name is Siren Nazir. I work for Autodesk and currently I'm leading the incubation for the Digital Center of Excellence. Autodesk uh, has embarked on a very strategic initiative to help them uh, accelerate profits and uh, propel them into you know, the next horizon of their business. So the biggest um, opportunities for growth for Autodesk, I believe, are um, mastering their data really understanding what's happening. When you work with a company or an organization that has not built up their attribution or uh, sort of their digital marketing chops yet, you'll, you'll come across many instances where the process is not refined. At Autodesk, um, through the audit, we did uncover a lot of gaps in process. Now, part of the digital center of excellence is establishing that foundation where you have clean data and a single source of truth. We used analytics and we just used uh, uh, order identification to figure out you know, how many channels were claiming the same order. And I think that this is a, a critical insight because if there isn't a process built for um, uh, analyzing digital data and understanding cost efficiencies, then more likely than not, not even uh, with Autodesk, but with many other companies, there will be a lot of inefficiencies that once resolved can just fall back to the bottom line. When we did the audit, uh, we uh, presented the findings to leadership and uh, part of those findings included uh, impact as one of the two vendors that would be the pillars of this digital center of excellence. If we take a look at the entire consumer funnel, it's really critical that we have clarity of data, transparency, as well as that single source of truth. And then, you know, we're able to convert all of those, all of that traffic that we begin to grow into sales. I have uh, been in affiliate marketing for a long time, but I've also been able to have the opportunity to manage a lot of digital channels. So I know the strengths and weaknesses of many of the channels out there, but the problem is many of the vendors have a black box system. It's not transparent, it's not clear, it's a one size fits all. I think the choice for uh, choosing uh, Radius really came out of some testing that we did. So the testing, um, was, was really trying to understand the increment, incrementality of the affiliate channel. So what we did was we, um, in, in some select channels, completely turned the channel off. And through the data, we were able to analyze and understand that the affiliate channel was actually bringing about 66% um, more sales increment, incrementally than, um, than you know, any of the other channels alone. So when we shut it off, none of the other channels were able to pick up that business. I would recommend Impact to someone else who's looking who may not be as familiar with you know, the tools and resources out there because of the clarity. For example, you know, in, their, um, in their attribution system, not only is the option for first touch available, but last touch is also available, multi-touch is available, or you could code your own. And you know, that kind of flexibility, it, it really is a very personalized approach. And the way that I've talked about it in Autodesk is that I've, I've told many people that you know, if you have a campaign that is built on awareness and you're using social channels for that, you don't really care about last click at that moment. You know, you could use first click, but you really want that campaign to have its own kind of attribution versus a campaign where you do care about the last click and it does need to drive to a sale. And to have a platform that is that fluid, just the way your marketing campaigns and your strategy are, and frankly your customers are, is just critical. I had so much success with Radius at my previous company that when I came over to Autodesk, I had the opportunity to offer up the right vendors to create the foundation for this digital center of excellence. And so I took that opportunity to not only bring on Radius, but Altitude as well.